Good morning. Hello. How's it going? Didn't see you there. How are you doing? Is it live time yet? Um, let me check on my doohickey here. How's it going? Long time no see. What the hell? I thought I'd do a little live this morning from uh, the, uh, the, the lovely uh, JCH office. It's been a while, it's been a hot minute, been a bit busy. Um, we've had Golden Week and we've had all sorts of stuff going on. So I thought I'd come back and um, show you what we've been up to in the interim. So how's it going? You know the drill. Um, what's, uh, you know, tell me where you're from, tell me what's going on. Ask me some questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, I've been listening to that Kendrick jam as well, which is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, ask me questions, tell me where you're from, tell me what's going on, I'm happy to answer them, I'll do my best if I can, and I'll show you some cool stuff as well. So let's see, let's get started. Um, hello everybody, oh my god, the first one, first one, fugu, 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 fugu. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 it's gone. Um, it no longer exists. I'm not allowed to use that name. I'm not allowed to do anything to do with that. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Bellamy, most practical of 6x17 you can recommend. Then recommend. There is no practical 6x17. It's no such thing. It doesn't exist. Um, it is an impractical format. Uh, the Fuji. Because the Linhoff is just crazy money. So um, that's about it. That's about all of your choices there. Unless you make one yourself. You know, you could, um, you could have one 3D printed, I guess, or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> but we're calling it JCH Not Fugu Pan 400. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure the big companies' lawyers will be really happy with that. That cannon on the table looks so good. This one does, doesn't it? Original black paint as well. Just been serviced too smooth as butter it is an absolute peach this is it's available on the site now somebody actually just bought the lens which is cool the lens that was with it um but yeah that that yeah, it's lovely so what's up uh acoustic roots hi jch visiting tokyo in june any interest in buying a Mamiya 645 with a digital back or know where I could sell trade one. I don't have any interest in digital back stuff, sorry. Uh, yes, there are plenty of places you could go and trade it. You could trade it at, my recommendation would be Fuji a Camera in Nakano. Matt Camera Dix, and they will probably give you a rip-off price for it. Fuji are a bit nicer about those sort of things and it is the sort of thing they sell. So definitely give them a try. Um, Adam Bowden Photography, yo, love from the US, been shooting with the Lights 3, great stuff. Good to hear from you, man, hope you're enjoying it, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm uh, wondering if I'm seeing any local, you know, regulars. I'm traveling to Tokyo in June from the States, how much does a camera t tour, tour cost? Okay, so, I do offer tours, you can check them out on the site. Um, lots of people have done them. I'm not going to be doing any during, like, probably July and August, because it would just be too hot. Um, but in June, I might still do them. Uh, so for half a day from about 10 a.m. to around 1 p.m., it's 30,000 yen. You'll be taken around a bunch of different stores. I'll show you a bunch of different places um, and maybe even find a camera or a lens that you're looking for. Just generally scooze around and, uh, and see what we can find. So um, if you're interested in one, you can drop me a line, though I am pretty booked up at the moment on them, so you have to be quick. Los Angeles, Christopher Teo, yo, Bellamy, what's up, Chris, how's it going? Um, let's see, any, I wonder if Nazir will join us. Any large format lens recommendations, Aerorectar, Zenitar? I mean, I'm not up on large format stuff. Um, I know the Aerorectars are, are really really good i know schneider lenses are really really good it really depends on what you're shooting and it depends on which camera you have um which board you have you know all of that sort of thing so i'm, I'm probably not the best person to ask about large format stuff unfortunately hey john what's up john Dupre, just is tax to those <laughs> yeah um howdy bellamy hope the uh, weather isn't getting too harsh yet actually at the moment it's lovely 
it's it's beautiful it's just like uh how the japanese say chordui it's perfect right um it's 20 something 23 24 degrees it's sunny it's not humid it's lovely uh it's gonna start raining soon and then it's just going to turn into a dank sweaty horrible mess where you just wish your clothes wouldn't stick to your body for the next three months um, yeah, trust me, if you're thinking about coming to Japan in August, don't. Just just find somewhere else to go because it's, it's pretty awful. Yeah, in fact, July, August and most of September are pretty, pretty awful. <sighs> With the dollar against the end right now, would you recommend doing some camera shopping? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, look, I've taken a bunch of people on tours in the last few months with the end the way it is and all of them have come away with something that they pay a lot less than they expected to for it um the yen is getting crushed right now i mean i can't afford to go overseas because it's it's just too much money you know like i can get lunch here for a thousand yen and i could not do that with my money overseas <laughs> just couldn't do it um so yeah, camera shopping, lens shopping. You know what's been going crazy in this country? Vintage and retro games, right? Vintage and retro games and trading cards, Pokemon and stuff like that. People have been coming here to Japan just to get that stuff. Just for that stuff. That's, pff, man. And they're clearing the shelves out. Like Japan's gonna have nothing left by the time this is all over. <laughs> It goes with the dream lens. What do you think about the dream lens? Actually, this camera doesn't go with the dream lens. This camera goes with, hold on. This camera goes with this lens, the 1.2. This is the black paint version, which I sold. The dream lens was made for the Canon 7, 7S and the 7SZ. Um, not the P, the popular. So there you go, something new every day. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, welcome everybody. If you've just joined us, thank you for joining. Thank you for coming and being part of this and allowing me to waffle and spout my uh, photographer related, related nonsense for an hour or so. Um, tell me where you're from, tell me what's going on. I'd love to hear from you. Um, it's always nice to hear from you and to hear from new faces. So uh here from the us scanning old slides with the conica from minolta 5400 li looking for an sp that conica minolta scanner is great um can't find them anywhere now i wish i could i could wish i could get my hands on one or an, i'd like a nikon cool scan but i'm just terrified terrified of getting it and then it just dies um, <laughs> so Ah, uh, hello, back from Southern California. If choosing a Barnett Leica camera, which model would you go for? Personally, personally, and this is from my personal experience, this is the camera that I have. This is my one. And this is the 3G. This is the one I like. This is the one I prefer. Um, and it's got a Summicron on it. And this is a radioactive Summicron. And no, it's not for sale. This is my own personal thing. Um, I think this is my favorite because I like the Finder more than the others. Uh, it's easier, a bit easier to use than some of the others. Then again, it is also a bit more expensive than some of the others, but this is my favorite one. So there you go. That's my, uh, that's my 10 NF worth. Is it worth getting a 2.8E or should I save up for a bit more for a 2.8F? Already own a pair of Roland R's. You're not gonna notice a lot of difference between the 2.8E and the 2.8F other than a certain amount of functionality, but otherwise you're not gonna notice a lot of difference. If you're on a budget, especially because the 2.8F, really good ones can be very expensive now. So 2.8E can still be sought for a pretty good price. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'd go for the 2.8E, you know, I'm, I'm not, that fussy hello from singapore what's up singapore how's it going john you pray large format roden stock is honestly the peak for good image production but it's costly nikon is great as well yes roden stock is incredible again expensive but then again you should never take away something from the nikon large format lenses they are actually really impressive you know um i do get quite a few people asking for those 
Expand Japan, hey man, how's it going? Oh, my arm is itchy. I've already managed to be bitten by by bugs and it's like only just turned May, it's nuts. Good morning, uh, sorry I didn't have much time to say but I wanted to ask you how you keep your developed negatives at home, dry bugs or not. My developed negatives are in absolute state. If you saw them, you would be shocked. Um, they're all in sleeves just liberally scattered around. I do not know when they were shot. I do not know what they were shot on. It. Anybody who came to be an assistant to do negatives here would actually probably want to kill me. <laughs> it's just, I'd never have the time. I want to spend just a few days scanning and, and listening to music and, you know, arranging my negs. I just never have time. Um, it's one of those monumental tasks that I don't think I'm ever going to face until I retire. Um, so, yeah, I don't keep them very well, unfortunately. Do better than me. Uh, I'm not coming to Japan. I planned, I've got a summer job in Montenegro, so I'll stick to enjoying the beaches instead of sweating to death. Wow, Montenegro, that sounds amazing. You lucky duck. Um, so, yeah, agree with you about Ronan Sog. Let's see, let's see. Anybody, anybody, any more questions? Any Fuji GWS 670 around? GWS? GWS? GW? Uh, I haven't seen a, a 670 for absolutely ages, actually. It's bizarre. Why, why is that so itchy? Uh, let's go Rangers. <laughs> let's go Rangers. I don't even know which Rangers. Hey, good night. Damn, I should have said that before my asking. That's all right. No problem, man. Just got my M6 back from prepare today. Time to give the LLL Elcan a crack. I hope you enjoy it. It's a beautiful little lens. Uh, hey, from San Francisco, you'll be entertaining me as I dig up a plant. <laughs> I hope it's a nice plant, uh, a plant that you want to get rid of and not, not, not some, well, it could be an interesting plant. I mean, it's San Francisco after all. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to show you a couple of things. Hello from Costa Rica. Cheers. Yeah, I wanted to show you a couple of cameras that I've got, um, which are, ooh -wee. which is better, Mami or Minolta? Neither are better. They're both different companies suited to different tasks. Um, Mami are more, more of a medium format kind of deal. And Minolta, ultimately, um, some of the great, real great 35 millimeter uh, SLR cameras and point and shoots as well. So different, different makers for different tasks. I wouldn't say either is better. Uh, hello from Chicago. What's up, Chicago? I love your city. That's your take I'm on the Canon. What's your take on the Canon SB2? Just found a mint specimen, I'm curious. Like all Canon range wood, they're very, very well made. Um, uh, they are, there's so many obscure versions. Um, I haven't used the SB2 personally. Um, I've, you know, I've used the LX and I've used the L and the P and the 7 and, and some other ones that I don't even know what their nomenclatures are, but yeah, um, or I, I rate Canon rangefinders. I do rate them. Um, they all seem to be pretty good at what they do. Even if some of them are sort of evolutionary dead, end, dead ends, they're still very capable cameras and they're so beautifully made. It's that era that they really sort of took care about what they make. And, and it shows, you know, this is a very sturdy camera. Um, considering it wasn't meant to be a particularly expensive camera, you know, it, it was meant to sort of be cheaper than one of these, you know, but um, a lot cheaper than one of these. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, hey, from Rochester. What's up, Rochester? How's it going, man? Um, nice to hear from you. Hey, from Sao Paulo. Ooh, oops, yeah, GW670, by the way. Ah. Yeah, I don't see many of them now. The 670s are rare. The 680s, 690s are a bit more common. 670s are kind of rare. Um, so let's see, what else have I got to show you? I've got something cool to show you. 690, uh, GW690 is awesome. Um, awesome camera, it's Texas Leica. Um, speaking of Leica, original Leica M3 manual, anyone? Yes, and the box, yeah. Because that goes with this. This is an absolutely gorgeous repainted M3. And it was done as a project I worked on with a client uh, about two or three, three years ago, four years ago. 
and it's come back. Um, somebody else has bought it and now they want me to sell it for them. And this is a one of a kind, unique black paint with red and yellow highlights. Uh, and, and it's even got a yellow and black film counter. Uh, fake lizard, lizard skin, because we don't use real lizard skin because that's against the rules. But this is absolutely stunning. It is available on the site now if you'd like to get it. Um, come and check it out. That is a beauty of a camera. Um, I'm also going to show you something else really cool soon, so stay tuned. We've also got um, lots of stuff. We've got like a, I've got a Contax T3, uh, T2 for sale. Mami, uh, Mino, sorry, uh, Lycra M7 if you want one. GS670 if you want one. I've got them. You know, there's there's tons of stuff. I've even got a bunch of these, but I'm not going to tell you what they are until later on because they're kind of cool. But I will be offering them um, at some point. So let's see, uh, let's see, um, uh, let's see, more questions, more questions, wrist check, <laughs> wrist check, that would be the Submariner, um, would love to collab, um, uh, how, I don't know, I don't know, um, I don't really do that many collabs nowadays, I'm kind of off them, um, as I've been <laughs> screwed over a couple of times, but there you go, um, so, right, Next, what's in the case? What's in the case? Well, if you watched the Instagram yesterday, you would have seen it. And now I'm gonna show it to you in person. And this is the Grey Mountain Industries and JCH uh, Special Edition uh, repainted camera. This is the Terminator project. And this is absolutely uh, amazing. This steel grey, red highlights, very spelt, custom, removed self timer, changed the uh, select, uh, frame selector, changed the advanced lever. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous camera. Comes in its own presentation case and it's old, sorry, it's already gone. <laughs> it's sold. Um, but we're going to be making more special editions, so keep your eyes peeled for them because uh, we're hoping to put one out every month or so. I've been working with a very old friend who has uh, excellent taste, excellent taste in cameras, and we're putting together some really special pieces for people. So, and they are going to be sick. They are going to be properly sick. Uh, I can't tell you what ones are coming, but trust me, they're going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, which lens would you suggest to pair with the Pentax LX? I don't actually know. I don't use an LX. Not anymore. I haven't used one for ages. When I did, I had um, uh, the SMC 51.4, um, which, the Takamar, which was really, really, really nice. Um, those SMC Takamar lenses are lovely. Lucas LXJ, any plans on doing another camera review on the YouTube channel? I miss those. Well, the problem is um, I don't have a cameraman anymore to make the videos with because I used to have a cameraman, uh, Michael, who went to work for Cinestill. He's, he's working in the U US now. He's gone back to the US. He's working in Cinestill, which is dope. I'm really happy for him. But uh, I don't have a talented video guy and he was not just the video guy he was the editor he was the color grader he did the sound he did everything and he produced those amazing videos which were really really great unfortunately i don't have anybody to replace him at this time so yeah um don't have any uh don't have any video abilities so i can't make any reviews for a while if i do manage to find a uh, video person then that would be smashing. We could do some video and uh, make some more. But for now, for now, it's just me. So you'll just have to make do with these uh, these lives. And um, I hope those, I hope at least those sate some of your desires. <laughs> the S3 has a 35 millimeter pairing lines. There's a big 1.1 viewfinder. On the SP, they're in a small auxiliary viewfinder. So my vote, S3. Hmm. Yep, S3 and SP. Yeah, the, the, actually, you know what, that, that is a fairly good point. The viewfinder is a lot 
bigger, brighter on the S3. That is true. Um, I have an S4. Sorry to people. Sorry to hear people have done that to you. Yeah, it's the nature of the game, man. Um, I've done collabs with all sorts of people, and some of them have been very, very dishonest, you know, um, and and hidden either payments or money or or so forth from me or or lied and said that it didn't work out when in actual fact it did and they just kept all the money or or when it came to uh you know us you know finalizing the details they disappear and yeah yeah if if i could tell anybody who's going to try and do a collab with anybody i'd say get, make sure you get a signed contract don't don't do it as mates don't do it as a word of mouth or trust or friendship and things like that get get it down on paper otherwise yeah <laughs> yeah i learned my lesson on that one <laughs> oh man um yeah. but yeah just just uh yeah yeah i had to stop digging to check out that terminator special edition back to digging oh god it sounds like an absolutely enormous plant what are you digging up out there good grief you got a jungle in the garden or something um I'm in Japan. I don't even have a garden. I've you know, got a strip of concrete with a couple of plant pots. I've got some strawberries, though. I've got some strawberries, and they're delish. These custom cameras is what inspired me to make the comment, though. No worries. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, I, th th so the collab I'm working on with this uh, particular person, uh, Grey Mountain Industries, I've known him for many, 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 many years. Um, I've known him since I started, almost since I started doing this, and he's one of the few people I, I would really trust. Uh, so, and he has impeccable taste and impeccable knowledge about Leica cameras as well. So yeah, I, I really trust when it comes to working with him. And I can't say that for a lot of people, you know, that, that, and I'm really fortunate to have a friend like that as well you know i'm very lucky so i consider myself very uh, blessed in that way most versatile medium format oh man that's a difficult one uh can't you ask an easy question <laughs> most versatile i'd say it's probably going to be hasselblad when it comes down to it you know the the, the range of lenses and the, the format um yeah, there's a lot you can do with Hasselblad. I mean, it's versatile enough that they took one to the moon, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to think that maybe that one is. Um, camera repair is the biggest issue or concern here in New York. You can't find a camera repair man in shop easily. There are um, uh, some repair places in New York, but not that many, surprisingly enough. But, you know, I mean, post is a thing. In the US, you have got some absolutely amazing repair places for certain products so don't don't disregard them um particularly if you want uh like done you've got sherry crowter and people like that there's there's you've got lots of options so um yeah you can always post it off hey mate greetings from los angeles hey los angeles i have not been there for a, ages 10 years i reckon now I'd love to go. Love to go. Uh, where's the best place to stay in Tokyo for shooting streets and buying film cameras? I mean, it'll probably be uh, Shinjuku, really. You know, I mean, that's where most of the camera shops are. Plenty of places to shoot. You've got Kabukicho, Nichome, Sanjome, um, Shinjuku Gyoen Park. You've got, uh, not far from there, you've you've got Ogikubo, uh, no, Okubo and the Korea town and stuff you know so there's there's lots to see there's lots to shoot um and it's i mean it's tourist central there's tons of hotels there so you're not going to you're not going to have any trouble finding a hotel in Shinjuku yeah that's for sure um and Shinjuku is kind of fun too there's loads of good places to eat um yeah very odd right why no repair folks in nyc yeah i've always wondered that it's always been a bit weird that there's very few repair options in new york considering it's such a vibrant city you know and you've got camera shops. it's not like you've got a shortage of camera shops there you know there's there's some really good camera shops there um so yeah bit of an oddity that one fujinon 50 millimeter 5.6 for the fujiko gm 670 can you get no i can't sorry i don't deal with the gm um, anymore can't find them can't find the lenses they are 
all gone. The eBay crowd snapped them up in a hot minute. And now, uh, yeah, they're very, very hard to find, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry, S3 versus SP was in response to a question you missed about which is better than 35. Oh, 1.8 lens. Right, fair enough. Yeah, um, yeah, I missed that question. Yeah, good point. For the 35, 1.8, yeah, absolutely. The S3 is going to be, hands down, a better choice. But there you go. Um, even though on the special edition SP, the re-release which came out in uh, 2000, I can't say, 2003 or 2002, whatever, 2004, <laughs> actually came, this is the SP, and it actually came with a new version of the uh, 3.5 1.8, which is kind of funny, because, um, uh, you know, it, it's not actually suited to the camera. But So I, I have heard of people who've bought this camera specifically to get their hands on this lens because it's the multi-coated version and it's amazing, you know, but it doesn't actually really suit the SP. It suits the S3. So get one and put it on an S3. Do yourself a favor. Um, I wonder what ended up of the Canon 50 that was paired with that mean M3. I think he kept the 50 because yes, it did have a matching, uh, it did have matching 0.95 with it, didn't it? And uh, I think he kept that because I've not seen that one. That one's gone. So let's see, let's see. Um, wow, wow, the plant is Ancanthus mollis. As a kid, I used to call them elephant ear plant. I have too many in the garden. I, I don't even know what that plant is. I have to look that one up later. Best place to photograph Mount Fuji now that the Lawson is closed. <laughs> <laughs> Lawson's not closed, they just put a huge net up or a fence up to stop people taking photographs, which was the dumbest shit they could do, you know, because there's a 7 Eleven down the road which has got the same view. So just go to the 7 Eleven down the road <laughs> um, <coughs> and be respectful, I think. Just be that's the reason why they, uh, <coughs> you know, put this thing up because the tourists just weren't being respectful, they were blocking the road. They were causing the obstruction. It was kind of dickish. So, hi, Bellamy. Hey, Marcus. What's up, man? Uh, let's see. Oh, Kitty's here. Hey, we're seeing some familiar faces. I always like to see some familiar faces. It's it's nice. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy. How good is the old Contax Mount Zeiss 51.5 Sonar? It's good. Those old Zeisses, those old Sonars, um, yeah, they're really, really good. I rate them very highly. Um, yeah, excellent stuff, really good stuff. So um, I have a Nikon F100, but some only are energized and some sometimes energized and sometimes not. Is it worth send for a repair? Well, I don't know anyone who will, excuse me, I don't know anyone who will repair the F100 now. I can't get them repaired here. Um, so if you know of somebody who that could repair it, Send it off to them, um, but it won't be over here because I don't know anybody who does it, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> how do you clean old lenses? Can certain cleaning solutions damage the old coatings? Yeah, actually they can. You can be a bit forceful on old um, lenses. So you have to be very gentle because the coatings are very, very thin or very soft. Some of the lenses are very soft. So you just have to be very sparing in your use of lens cleaner and you have to be very gentle and take your time. But you should do that with any of your lenses anyway. Just gently take your time, get around the edges with the Q-tip and then make sure you get any of that gunk that's in there and then clean it up and just, I mean, it's a meditative thing, isn't it? Cleaning the lens, you know, sort of sitting there and just making sure it's right, making sure the front rear, rear, rear elements are clean maybe cleaning the mount, something really calming about it, isn't there? Something lovely. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> let's see, let's see, more, 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 more. Wow, lots of people are joined, that's awesome, thank you. I have a contact, RTS3, and the LED on the viewfinder is dead, but is it a common issue? Yes, it is a common issue. Lots of uh, rangefinders are, uh, sorry, lots of the uh, LCDs and LEDs in the old, uh, contacts cameras just go funky and that's it there's nothing you can do there's no more parts there's no more replacements so yeah it bums you out a bit uh 
Hey, kitty. Thinking of going back to Tokyo this year, but maybe not to stay in the city the whole trip. Any nearby towns without having to do overnight that I should visit from taking photos and camera hunting? Miss you. Yes, I miss you too, kitty. Um, camera hunting? Not so much. You're not going to find many cameras or camera stores in the smaller towns outside Tokyo. But there are lots of really nice day trips. You could go to Kawagoe and shoot Koedo, um, which is the old Edo town, which is really cool. Um, and that's like less than an hour from um, from Tokyo. Uh, there's, or if you can want to go in the other direction, you've got Chiba and you've got lots of places around there. There's lots of nice places around, you know, Tokyo, but you're not going to find many cameras there, but you will find lots of lovely things to eat and lots of lovely things to shoot. So that's always lovely. Um, hey, Kitty, I will tell you where to go you know you're always welcome here hi also hey matt my boy hey matt love you how's it going i hope you're well um me favorite focal length to shoot with no destruction uh 35 i shoot with a 35 that that suits me on my rangefinder if i'm shooting an slr i prefer a 50. i'm a simple man with simple ambitions so I like to keep things simple. I'm not a very clever chap. I get confused. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Hasselblad A12 Type 4 backs but in black, rare. Yeah, they are. I mean, Type 4 anyway is quite hard to find. You know, it was the last iteration, so they're hard to find. But in black, yes, very hard to find. There's only one focal length and it's 21 millimeters. Yeah, if you're a nutter, you know, but each for their own. <laughs> um, I used to know a chap who used to shoot 21 exclusively and get right in people's faces with it. And yeah, he got he got slapped a few times, you know, he uh, ended up getting himself a few slaps. So any underrated point and shoots that haven't blown up yet? Yeah, Canonet Auto Boys. Uh, sorry, Canon Auto Boys and the Auto Boy Zooms. They haven't blown up yet. And the Minolta Air um, uh, compacts, the little Minolta ones, they haven't blown up yet. At least not for yet, not for now. There's still loads of sleepers out there, Cont uh, uh, Pentax SVOs and stuff, which you can get for a, for cheap. So yeah, just just go and have a look at some cheapies. Nikon F6 recommendations. Well, it's a good camera. You should get one. There's my recommendation. It's a good camera. You should get one. They are. Great cameras there. As Kai said in his last video, they're they're one of the great, they're one of the pinnacles of uh, film SLRs. So yeah, definitely, definitely a good one. NKW Calvin, hello Bellamy, thank you. Matt, I switched from 21 to 24 and eventually 35 again. So I'm taking talking big to be honest. <laughs> I think 21 as a focal length is for for young people, you know, who aren't afraid to get in there and get a bit get a bit wild um i'm not a young people anymore <laughs> so i don't do that i stick to, i've always stuck to 35 anyway it's always been my jam so or, or my marmalade or my uh fruit preserve perhaps <laughs> um cheapest place to develop films in tokyo there's no real cheap places but probably it i would say it's probably going to be koide or somewhere like that. I mean, it's still going to cost you a thousand yen or whatever. But if you're coming from the states, that's, that's like nothing. So, um, uh, and when are you come? Out? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Koido, Yodabashi, somewhere like that. Uh, Kitty, and when are you coming to Bangkok? I suggest not now. It's hell on earth. Yeah, I looked at coming to Bangkok and went, uh, 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 uh no, thank you. What with all the rain and the uh, intense heat, I'll give that a miss until it cools down a little bit. Uh, I'm going away next month and possibly, uh, yeah, I might be going to Hong Kong next month as well. So I'm not sure about that yet. But um, yeah, when, when, when it cools down a little bit, I'll come to uh, Bangkok because I have missed it so much. A TBS good alternative to T2. Different camera, really. It's not the same, you know, it just the same branding, but not the same camera. Um, it's an alternative. It's not necessarily 
an alternative that's going to match your expectations of the T2. It's a good camera, um, but it's more of a zoomy camera. So, um, What is your opinion of the Zeiss Icon ZM? One of the best Leica M mount range finders out there. It's got a fantastic finder. Really, really good finder. Um, but at the same time, they are highly priced and they can be a bit finicky. So you, you've got those risks. You take, take you know, the rough with the smooth. There's pros and cons, but I like them very much. So any quick turnaround film dev and scan for tourists visiting Tokyo. You can get um, film dev and scan if it's color film from Koide or Yodabashi or Kitamura same day. They won't be great scans. They won't be super scans, but they will be scans. Um, you can get that same day if it's color, if it's black and white, or if it's reversal tough, you're going to be waiting like a week and a half. So color, yes, yes, um, plenty of places. If Seiko was a camera company, which would it be? Nikon. They're affiliated with Nikon anyway, because they produce the uh, um, dials for several of the Nikon cameras. So uh, yeah, I'd say they would be Nikon. Yeah, absolutely. Voigtlander 24, uh, 21 f4 is a top shelf lens though. It is, it is, it's uh, peak sharp. That's what it is, it's a great lens. Thoughts on Topcon RE Super and RE lenses? I haven't had a lot of experience with them. Um, I know that they have a really solid fan base and they are very good quality, but I haven't had that experience with them, so I couldn't really say. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna wax lyrical about lenses that I haven't really used, wouldn't make much sense. Uh, <clears throat> Which Yashica contacts SLR is the best? Ooh, that's a hard one. Uh, the RTS3 is considered probably the best. The Aria is amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, loads of them are good. Loads of them are good. Uh, RTS is probably going to be considered the, the, the big daddy. Can I send a camera to you for repair and collect it from you in Tokyo? Yes, you can, but you have to pay sales tax because if you're picking it up in Tokyo, it's then classed as a domestic sale and I have to charge sales tax by law. Sorry about that. So I'm not going to get in trouble with the tax man. Definitely not. Just wanted to let everybody know I'm using a JC Penny flash on my M5 as of late and I find it to be a se sexy combination. <laughs> That's pretty cool, JC Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Zeiss Icon is amazing. Yes, it is. It is. Is that down to marking? Oh, wow. Uh, Zeiss Icon, same as the best uh, R. No, okay, it's based on the same frame. It's not the same camera. It's the same frame, um, but it isn't the same camera. The best R is a little bit different. Um, different finders, different internal, well, different mechanics because they made lots of different versions of the, the R's. So they made the R4, R4, R3, R2, M, A. Um, they made them in S mount, they made them in C mount, they made them in M mount. So you've got a lot of different range. Whereas the Zeiss Icon is just a singular camera. So, um, yeah. Give us the last album you were jamming to. Uh, album, album. Um, shit, last album? I mean, last song I was jamming to was the Kendrick, the new Kendrick one. Um, not like us, that, that's just killing me. Um, but last album, what was I listening to? Uh, Kieran Fortet, uh, listened to his, uh, last album, which I love. I love anything by Fortet. So, uh, yeah, that was the last album I was jamming to. Um, good question. Thank you. Uh, let's see, I had a better R4 and I definitely looked and felt like an older Nikon FM or something. Yeah, they, they're still very well-made cameras. So what time have we got now? How long have we been at this? A while, I reckon. Um, oh, blimey, it's 11 and something. I am going to have to actually go and get on some work because people want their lenses shipped to them and their cameras shipped to them and the things they bought, they want them shipped. So I've got to get them prepared and get them ready and get them off if you would like to come to the website and check out some of the cameras we've got loads of cameras available for sale um and we have uh if if i don't have it i'm sure i can find it for you um drop me a line come and get a t-shirt from the teespring store check out the link tree in the um thingy below you'll be able to find lots of stuff 
um, and we'll be able to help you with getting lots of cool things. Um, hold on one second, let's see, I'm just gonna answer a couple more. What's for lunch? I have leftovers from yesterday, which is ginger pork with some omelette, um, uh, which has got um, cilantro omelette uh, with lemon chicken and uh, some rice and some veggies. Healthy lunch, healthy lunch. Um, <clears throat> good question. And let's see, hello from Santa Barbara. I saw the book pre-order, congratulations. Signed up for it on Amazon, thank you, yes. If you haven't seen it, my book, I have finished my book. It's available from pre-order pre on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, pretty much any uh, any store. You can even get it from your local camera, uh, your local bookstore. Just go in and ask for film camera zen and you can order a copy. It comes out in November. I hope you like it. I hope you go and uh, sign up for it. It would be really, really awesome um, if you did. Thank you. Um, that would be super fire. So just... Yeah, go and support. I saw your last tweet. What do you mean by that? Yeah, sometimes you just want, just want to escape, you know, man. Um, uh, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and have a break. That's what I'm gonna do. Have a break. Serious question: Jungle or liquid? Jungle. <laughs> yeah. Proud of the book. Yay! Thank you. What's for dinner? That I don't know. That I don't know. That's uh, a mystery that is waiting to be revealed to me. I'm sure it will be. I do know that I have been marinating some chicken wings um, with lemon pepper so and, and sake, so they could be quite interesting, you know. Could be on the card. Um, I like to try and cook healthy stuff for myself because of my allergies, so I can't eat, uh, I can't eat gluten, I can't eat dairy, so I uh, find ways around it, you know. You find ways around it. <laughs> Thanks for the question. And um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up because I'm... Got to get on with this, and then I'm going to have some lunch because I'm starving. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for being part of this. I really appreciate it. If you uh, want to go and check out the site, please do. Come and ask me for a camera. I'll help you find it, or a tour. And I will see you all again soon. Be cool to one another. Have fun. Take lots of pictures, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.